open copper. Artisan crafts online video, Claude Monet. Action. Hi, artisan craft families. Miss Jackie here. Today's artist is Claude Monet. Claude Monet was a French impressionistic painter. You may remember him from our paper towel roll water lily video. If you haven't watched it yet, I will link it below so you can learn more about him as an artist. We have recently been re-inspired by Monet because one of our very own artists and crafts families moved to Paris. We have been watching their adventures unfold and it has definitely added France to our bucket list. Monet's love of nature and seeing it expressed through light and color is beautiful on a computer screen. I can only imagine what it looks like in person. Today's project was inspired by his series of water lilies. They are truly mesmerizing and also lend themselves to be translated beautifully when painted by two-year-olds. We are doubling down on the nature element and using something found outside. For this project, you'll need rocks, any rock, paint in blues, greens, and white, Q-tips, felt or tissue paper in greens, pinks, and white, scissors, and some glue. We truly believe there's nothing better than a handmade gift, and we really wanted to make sure that this project was something you'd be proud to give to a relative. Mm -hmm. I don't know about your kiddos, but my kiddos love collecting rocks, and we often have a whole pile outside of our house. Even when we lived in Brooklyn, we had a whole stick pile outside of our apartment building because they just love collecting things from nature. So, yes. So what do you love about rocks? Like in like like by our steps in that little dirt patch, Connor found this rock and it was almost, it was like a crystal, it was so cool. Half the fun of this project is getting outside and finding the perfect rock to transform into a beautiful paperweight. Choose a rock you love. You'll want one that's of a decent size so you have room to add the water lilies and the flowers to it. All right, so even though this project looks so amazing and complex, it's really done in only two steps. The first step is painting on the water. And the second step is adding the flowers and the lily pads. This will definitely get a little bit messy, so you want to make sure you cover your work surface. We just cut out a piece of brown paper bag. Georgia, what rock are you going to choose? Okay, I'm going to do a huge one. Because we chose colors that blend well together, you really can't go wrong here. And if you look at Monet's water lilies, a lot of times his water has a green tone to it. Instead of using a paintbrush, we will be using a Q-tip to replicate Monet's impressionistic style. What do you like about painting with Q-tips? It differs than painting with a paintbrush because like, like it gives it a different texture. Like when the, you use the paintbrush, it just like Yes, exactly. So I like to make sure my whole rock is painted, so I kind of pick it up, and then your hands are gonna get a little messy. You can prop it on something if you like, but you can also go back and do some touch-ups after it dries. And I even like sometimes see how my uh, Q-tip is like unraveling, and it, it just makes, like you said, the texture look so much cooler. So I gave my whole thing one big coat of the blues and the greens, and now I'm gonna add the whites. If you look at Monet's paintings, he has a mix of blues and greens and even some white. The fun part about adding white paint is it just makes your colors that you're using lighter. Can I mix these two colors? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the beauty of it, even if you mix them all together. It still looks good. Sometimes like, it just erases it. Yeah. But you can keep going, you know? Like that's the nice part, you just keep adding. If you don't like it, add a different color on top of it. And if you really like how it turns out, you could do like a whole bunch of rocks and then give it to everybody that you know for your the holidays. You're a sucker for a series. I am, I am. Georgia, why do you like giving handmade gifts for the holidays? Um, it's fun. And like no one wants to buy it at a store or anything. Yeah. Like, totally. if you get a handmade gift, then, like, you're the only person in the entire world who has something like that. Totally. Once it's dry, you will add your water lilies. You can make them out of felt or tissue paper. If you look here at the ones we made as an example, um, this one we use all felt, this one we use all tissue paper, and this one we use a combination of both. So what one did you say you like the best? Mm. The felt one. 
Yeah, I think the felt gives a little bit more sophisticated look. And then the tissue paper is a little bit more whimsy. You decide which one you like better or do a combination of them both. To cut the leaf of the lily pad, simply cut out a circle or an oval and then snip out a tiny triangle. Almost like the slices of pizza you get at a child's birthday party. It's a very thin slice. To cut the flower of your lily pad, cut out a U shape from your pink or white material and then snip little V's in the top. Create as many as you'd like to include on your rock. So we've let our rocks dry and now we're gonna add the lily pads and the flowers. So Georgia said she likes the felt the best. So what one was yours? This one, right? The little cute one. Depending on the size of your rock, you may add several. Our rocks are small, so we just added two lily pads. There you go. Beautiful, Georgia, I love it. Okay, since Georgia did the felt, I'm gonna show you what it will look like when I do the mm. tissue paper. Just a little bit different for the flower, so I'll glue on my lily pads first. Yes, and then to make the flower, you're gonna take your tissue paper and just crumple it up like this. The nice part about it is it looks beautiful and very pretty and de dainty, even if you do really just crumble it. Let's do a white one over here. Sometimes a smaller piece of tissue paper works the best. Yeah. Beautiful. And there you have it, a Monet-inspired paperweight. It's really like a mini sculpture. Now the question is, who are you going to gift it to for the holidays? As always, we want to see what you made, so be sure to tag us on Instagram, at Artisan Crafts, send me an email, jack at lovejack.com, or join our online Zoom class Thursday mornings at 10. Happy creating and happy holidays!